Uh, this one. This one. This is one of the jankier views there have been uh, in my streams. Um, because I did say I don't really have a setup to be on camera with microphone these days. I've kind of changed things around. Um, but I've had to quickly chuck something together because uh, I've been sent a mystery package which I was told I have to open live. Um, a reaction is required, I suppose. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what, let's just make this... Uh, oh, it's going to be wobbly now, isn't it? Let's just make things a bit brighter around here. There we go, something like that. Yeah. And if I flip this, that might also be a bit nicer. Transform, flip. And flip. There we go. That's probably a bit nicer. Um, so yeah, no music or anything. Um, because it's not a, a stream in the sense that I would normally do a stream. Um, it is it is just uh, a, a... How to say it? Um, I'm, I'm just here at the request of Lazy Dragon, basically. Uh, so I'll wait for a couple of people to arrive. I suppose have a chat about what I've been doing today, I guess. I suppose that's a thing. Um, or what I'm working on at the minute. That's, that's a thing that people tend to ask. So, um, commissions-wise, uh, one, one of my last two... 2D commissions before I'm completely retired from 2D, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is for a dear friend, and then I've got one more for a regular client, which will be being painted onto this magic card. Uh, and then that's it, I'm done for good with 2D commissions then, completely finished once and for all. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. Um, personal projects, these are some stealth suits by Piper Makes. Uh, that I'm currently working on. I'll give you a quick zoom of these because they're very, very pretty. Very, 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 very pretty. There we are. That handsome, young, Aquarian being. Isn't that just everything you've ever wanted? This guy aggressively aiming and then, do you want to fuck the leader? Also looking pretty great. So, uh, that's a personal project that I've just built but haven't started painting yet. Uh, this is another one from Piper Makes that I've actually started painting. So this is her take on a Riptide. Uh, so I've got the shield arm. Here. I'm gonna to have to zoom out to actually fit this in the shot because it's so big. This is her take on Riptide. Got the big ion cannon and the uh, shield and everything. Very cool. Very very cool. Uh, so at least I've actually started getting some paint on that. But as you all know, you know personal projects are uh, they're, they're not a, they're not a thing that I ever prioritise uh, unless they're for content. Uh, and then speaking of content, today's piece that I painted uh, actually is content. This is actually Wednesday's video. Uh, this Night Lord's Rhinoceros. This is the Demos pattern rhino from Forge World. And uh, this is actually Wednesday's video. So you'll be finding out about this more specifically. This is, this is the focus of the video. The uh, three-handed top hatch. But um, I do sort of talk briefly about the lightning as well, although not really much because I've shown Night Lord's lightning before. So that's, you know, by the by. Um, and then Eshers. That's the other commission that I'm working on. The last two Eshers I've done. Uh, oh, can you hear that rain? Is that coming over the mic? Finished, as you can see, 
whole gang of Eshers. And uh, all that's left is these two, which I'm like halfway through. So things are looking good. Uh, so that's what I've been up to. That's, that's the work I've been working on. Um, but I do believe... So I know a little, I have I have a hint at what's inside this box, this mystery box. We're in sync, Fonzie, we're in sync. Uh, I do have a hint at what's in this. It's come right out. Uh, in fact, I've just put all that stuff in my way because I'm probably gonna end up thumping it if I, uh, if I leave that stuff there. So that's not seen as a lot of these miniatures belong to customers. Let's treat them with some respect. Um, yeah, so I've got I've got an idea of the contents of this box it, it, vaguely, insofar as I don't actually know what's in it, but I know that Evie from Lazy Dragon wanted to set me some kind of painting challenge to make content from. Hey TJ, how you doing, mate? <coughs> um, so I know that. She's been planning to send me something that is for the express purpose of making content. Um, and then she recently contacted me and said, there's a parcel come in and I need you to film your reaction when you open it. So to me, that suggested the easiest way of achieving that would be to live stream it. Because um, otherwise, whatever content I make from it, I'd have to sort of film my reaction and then the reaction wouldn't actually be seen by anyone until the rest of the content, which, you know, is fine, but just wasn't what I wanted to do. So, shall we open a mystery package? This is the actual first time I think that I've ever done this. I don't think I've ever opened a mystery package on stream before. Um, but I am highly curious as to what's in here. And knowing Evie, it will be cool. Okay. Okay. So there's a scroll. I'm going to guess I'm supposed to read the scroll. Hello, Scottrick. How are you, dear heart? Baldy, hello. How you doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a wild guess that I should read this scroll first. So let's pop the box to one side. <coughs> oh no. Oh no. Use just what's in the box and your imagination. Please paint this model. Show your working, film it and make a video out of it. Your friends, the lazy dragons. And then it's got the Lord of the Rings one ring rhyme interesting so using just what's in the box and your imagination please paint this model okay well i can see that the model is under the bubble wrap i'm guessing this this part i bet is paint it feels like paint bottles so i've got a feeling what this is going to be is some kind of either like some kind of well put it this way she said use only what's in this box and there's only like four or five bottles of paint in that wrapper so i mean okay <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Oh well. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm now praying for the contents of this box to not suck. For the, the contents of this package to not suck. Um. Because this is obviously paints. It very clearly feels like paints. So. Oh shit. Uh. This could be, this could be very interesting. Hmm. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous to open this up. I'm not gonna lie. Um, 
because I've got to do content on this as well. Like, I agreed to this beforehand. I said, you know, if you want to set me challenges, I will be a good sport about it, and I will do those challenges. Um, I've never had any intention of, of, you know, backing down from a challenge. But this is clearly going to be a limited palette challenge, because there's definitely only four or five bottles of paint in there. And that's Gazgold fucking Thracker, which is like a tough that's a tough paint when you've got all of your paints at your disposal right i'm genuinely nervous i'm shaking oh fuck i don't want to open the paints i really don't want to open the paints <laughs> um can i just can i just not it's, you know some things in life are better not known not known right that that's that's what they say isn't it some things in life are better not known i'm scared i'm really scared uh okay so we're painting gaskell fracker that's going to be content um one thing i will say is this is definitely not going to be the second video for this week <laughs> this you're gonna have to give me some time to get around to it uh okay let's see what we're painting here I'm so fucking scared, man. I don't want to open it. Oh. oh it's Citadel as well. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um. Shit. Just this. Oh shit. So we've got Aurakama Gold and Stormpost Silver, which without a doubt are the worst gold and silver in existence. This is gonna be hilarious. Um, these are both extremely hard paints to work with. And especially when you don't have washes to help them because i'm basically gonna we're gonna be leaning on this corvus black a lot um because i'm gonna have to mix it with these now what's what's really interesting here is every highlight on this is gonna have to be done by mixing moot green into corvus black in some way or another Holy shit. How do I do this? Like, the Moot Green and Contrast Orc Flesh is fine for the skin. That is absolutely fine for the skin. Uh, dark Metals, again, absolutely fine. These two together will probably get me some sort of analog of a brassy kind of colour. Absolutely fine. But, like, what do we do when we come to, like, accenting anything? Like, we can't do the checkers. We can't do the red accents. Um... We can do, like, a Corvus Black um, highlighted with Moot Green for, like, the black parts of the armor, for example. No, that's not going to work. The armor's going to have to be all silver. It'll have to be. Because otherwise, like, the underclothing and stuff, we've got, we've got nowhere to go with it because it's just going to be exactly the same color as, as the armor. This is such a challenge. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously I shouldn't talk about it too no, <laughs> don't feel bad. This is brilliant. This is this is great content. Um I shouldn't talk about this too much because obviously I want to make a video on it, so I've got to figure that part out. Um obviously the clip of this can form part of that video anyway. Uh so that's that's fine. Um but I don't want to go too much into my strategy prior to um, making the video. I have got my work cut out for me. Do, Scott, do I have to paint Makari as well? Because I feel like Makari is kind of like I could do something, but it's just, you know, this banner like if it's just black and green 
<laughs> you are evil people. You are truly evil people. Like th this is this is great. This this to base the skin on. Um, Orc flesh and moot green to base the skin on. Absolutely fine. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. God, I'm scared. Oh my god, I'm scared. Fuck. Like, like if this was a brown, if this was a brown, the whole thing just becomes instantly like, yeah, fine. Ooh, I wonder. <laughs> I've got, I've got quite a devious idea. Um, yeah, I mean, if I have to do Makari as well, I have to do Makari as well. That's no problem. Um, but I may have a very devious idea. Uh, and it might just make the whole thing a lot more interesting. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, but this... Damn you. You're brand new as well. Ah. Oh. Could you not? Could you not have sent me an auric armor that's been sat around on the shelf for a while? That would have made my my devious plans so much easier. <laughs> Wait to find out. That's going to be interesting to see if that works. Um, some of you may have guessed what the uh, what the plan is. It, like it's fine either way. If I've got to paint Makari, I've got to paint Makari. Um, it's just obviously like things like this banner and stuff. If it's just two colors, then it's just going to be two colours. There's just only so much you can do about that. Hey, Underdog, what do you think of this painting challenge? I've, uh, my, my sponsor sent me a painting challenge. Uh, I'd be very interested to know your thoughts on this. Uh, I've got to paint Gazgol and probably Makari. And I've got Corvus Black, Moot Green, Orc Flesh Contrast Paint, Stormhost Silver, and Auric Armor Gold. Those are the only colours I have. I have no other colours to paint with. What do you think? <laughs> you say that like I stop does it instantly. Well, you are a very busy shop. That's the thing. That's the thing, isn't it? But uh, what I'm going to do is very gingerly place this uh, back out of reach on my desk where I can't touch it. And uh, not not look at it again until I start this challenge. In fact, I'm probably going to do that with all of these paints, to be fair. But... That's scary. That is a scary challenge. Uh, does this does this camera work? Not that one. This one. Yes. That is a very scary challenge. I. It can be done. It it definitely can be done. Um, this. So. Just. Why. Um. Yeah, it's possible. It's gonna it's gonna look quite green. <laughs> and it's gonna be tough. That's gonna be a really, really hard painting challenge. Um, <clears throat> but I'm looking forward to it. As, are you looking forward to seeing it? I mean, I think I think that sounds like a good day. Yeah, I'm so glad that you've got so much faith in me, Scott. I know, Bran, I know, no why. Oh, it's going to be so tough. Just, seriously, don't don't keep reminding me that there's no why. I mean, like, at least Moot Green is, it has a white base to it, and it's quite high in value, right? Like, at least this will do a lot of work and Corvus Black is not pure black either, it's a really dark grey with just a touch of purple in it, so there's hope there's hope, hey Joe, how you doing um, but that's going to be hard that's going to be really hard interesting uh, like genuinely interesting, this is without a doubt the hardest painting challenge I've ever been set um, by some way. Like, I've done the um, traditional media challenge where you use no washes, no inks, no metallics, um, and you treat the miniature like a canvas. Uh, that 
to be honest, was not even a challenge for me because obviously I used to paint 2D, so painting without washes, inks, and metallics isn't hard for me. Um, in fact, in a lot of cases, I prefer painting without washes, inks, and metallics. Um, but that's probably the last time I did a challenge, like a, an actual challenge challenge. Uh, so we've been sent Gasgall Fracker, and we've got to paint him using a restricted palette. Um, they've also sent me the paints, but I'm not touching them. But the restricted palette is uh, Moot Green, Orc Flesh Contrast Paint, Corvus Black, Stormhost Silver, and Auric Armor Gold. That's the restricted palette that we've got to paint Fracker and Makari with. It's going to be so hard. So fucking hard. Well, you know what's going to happen here, though, right? And I don't mind admitting it either. What's going to happen here is I'm going to paint this according to the challenge. And then because I collect orcs, I'm going to pick it back up a couple of months later and adjust it so that it fits my army. <laughs> to make the next one more difficult. Way harder than one of those guys bragging about using free colours, but they're primary colours and you can make anything. <laughs> I've seen so many of those. Like, I painted this whole miniature with only five paints and it's literally a primary blue a magenta, a cyan, a white, and a black. It's like, you can paint literally anything with only those three paints. <laughs> there is nothing in the world you can't do with those with those five paints. This five paints, this is a fucking challenge. Um, not really anymore, Joe. I'm, I'm getting out of it. Uh, I have two left on my docket. Uh, one of them I'm trying to finish this week. The other one I'll be trying to finish next week. And then I'm done for good. Uh, if I can help it. I I just don't have the same heart for it as miniature painting. I just I, I like it. It's you know It can be really enjoyable. Um, some commissions that you get are super exciting. But others are um, just... They just don't, you know do it for me in the same way as miniature painting like I don't know what it is I, I've, I've done a lot of soul searching around that subject trying to figure out um, why I just don't love 2D painting as much as miniature painting like painting is painting right it should be all the same um, but it's certainly not so yeah uh, at some point coming to the channel um, Gasgall Fracker painted with five colours, none of which are white, none of which are red, two of which are metallic. <laughs> ah! It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, that's all from me, folks. I, I did say it would be short. Um, <laughs> Scott, you can you can try, mate. I, I, say, I say this to everyone. If you have a really cool idea and you really want me to do it, ask. You know, because... At the end of the day, will I probably say no? Yes, I will probably say no, unless it's an idea that I'm really in love with and really want to paint. The chances are I'm not gonna take the commission. But even if I don't take the commission, it's very likely that I probably know someone who would like to take the commission. So even if I don't, ask. Because even if I, I personally don't want to paint your piece, I probably know someone who could do a really great job of it. So, hello, Pingu. Yeah, we're uh, we're painting. We're going to be painting Gasgall Fracker with a with a very very restricted palette, Pingu. That's the uh, that's the plan. So yeah, folks, thank you for hanging out while we uh, while we did this little mystery unboxing. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And um, Wednesday, you are getting a tutorial for this. Do -do 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 -do. So uh, be on the lookout Wednesday for my little fundamental guide to freehand, which will be coming to the channel. Catch you later.